war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Now that is what that trailer should have been like. Uh, it didn't necessarily have to look that way, but I definitely feel like it should have felt that way. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Oh, yep. Okay, so we're gonna go into the uh, face change and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for the uh, for the video. Huh? I'm hurrying up. Don't worry. All right. So the game starts with uh, just a normal uh, day in the neighborhood, as you can see. I'm gonna turn that off for copyright. <laughs> okay. Uh, but basically, we just need to come out here and uh, ah, good morning, talk to good old Cosworth. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. So we have some things on here that we're going to need to come back for later. For example, this. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. And you'll see in a moment. So I went with... Uh, um, we got the Vault Tech guy coming up through the door pretty soon. But I, I went with uh, as close as I could get. Uh, oh, sound like made I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, as close as I can get to uh, John Bernthal, the uh, you know, the Punisher, at first, but uh, really good with because John. the character, main character that they give you initially, uh, already basically looks like him for the most part. So I made some few adjustments and uh, got pretty close to it. So you'll see that in a minute. Just told me to come over here for the baby. Okay. Hey, Codsworth. Now, don't you touch the laundry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. <laughs> See, this is the this is the kind of comedy that uh, you know I think they just exaggerated 
uh, way too much in the trailer, so hopefully they don't uh, stick to that game plan. Uh, Alright, so this is going to kick off our uh, foreshadowing. Good morning! vault -Tech calling! vault -Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Now, this guy uh, seems pretty shady, but uh, you are not going to progress in the story unless you uh, just go ahead and uh, accept. But uh, in that case, I'm going to ask Tell me for more, more about information. This vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. He also seems to, to know that uh, the events that are about to unfold are going to happen. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if that's a, a true uh, for the lore or not. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> that's the spirit. Now, let's see. All right, so here's where I'm going to pick uh, my... Um, what kind of person my character is going to at least start off as uh, I'm going to skip over the the whole part of this but just give a quick uh, explanation so you get these 21 points right at the beginning uh, and then uh, later on as you progress leveling up uh, you'll get to add some more points to this you can also collect things throughout the game uh, that'll allow you to add like one or uh, one point here and there uh, for these uh, and eventually if you have to download uh, DLC content then you can uh, upgrade these for the most part all the way to the to the top uh, which goes up to 10 possibly 11 depending on um, how you play it out wonderful that's everything uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault congratulations on being prepared for the future um thanks again hey it's peace of mind that's worth a little paperwork right for you and Sean no price is too high <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. John, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. All right, so I went with John up for, uh, you know, John Bernthal. Yeah, I'm going to just... Assume that uh, he should be the guy that uh, is in the TV show, but uh, we'll see. I'll still give the TV show a chance. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? 
Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what exactly? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Hun. What's wrong with Codsworth? Now, uh, before we get to the next part, um, I could have gone for a little bit more of uh, of this kind of stuff going on and just kind of like regular stuff, but I definitely understand why they didn't do that, uh, you know, because it's, it's not exactly exciting. Uh, but that would have gave a lot more characterization, development, and uh, building by, up yes, to this. Followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're... Uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault, now! I've got Sean, let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, really if you are registered, I, I evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We'll drive to the coast! That's gotta be fun! Shhh! Vault 111 is this way! So obviously we had the air raid sirens going on and um, it's pretty chaotic in the town so it definitely gives you that feeling. If you're in the program, you'll get in. That's absurd! I am Not on the list. Tech. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop Sir. me! Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this! Oh God, oh if God, you're in the program, God. step forward. Otherwise, return home! We're gonna die out here! We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. And God help us all. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. This way. Step up, keep the going. This way. In the center. So, this is what the town looks like now. We'll get into what that's going to look like later. All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... <gasps> No, we no. don't be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Hun? It's gonna be okay, right? As you can see, it, it already has a very uh, much darker feel than, than the TV show 
at least on face value, is currently showing off uh, in the trailer. So definitely taking itself a lot more seriously. Good. Right over there. Take this a vault suit, then the head down the hall. Over there. Take a suit. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. Uh, what if they didn't make How it? long do you think we'll I be down here? Who belong? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Don't you think? The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Can you come here? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. Yep, In this point is pretty pretty straightforward five, going through. Four, um, so three, you've essentially just been two, falsely four, led into uh, a cryo chamber. And uh, this is what allows the story to uh, switch over into uh, what you're going to end up having to deal with. So you get your mission uh, because of this. Imagine the TV show based on the trailer is going to follow that up with a joke of some kind, uh, where the game does not. So this starts our uh, mission out of time here. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! So oh, if you open God. up the door here... I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. So in doing this, you, you've... Uh, Checking her wedding ring, so now you have to see yours and hers. Because um, there's not there's not much else you can do here. 
Um, there's also not much else you can do with these pods. Everyone's uh, essentially gone. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we can check in some of this monitor stuff. And I'll just go ahead and read these as I come up to them. So, cryogenic array offline. Premature termination resulting in systems failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides are detected. Controls disabled. Life support online. Offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Let's see. Pod, pod C1 is empty. That's interesting uh, because it's not my pod. My pod's actually down here. Remote override engage, which is also interesting. Uh, but if you look here, uh, uh, door manual override engage as well. Uh, but everybody else is uh, deceased uh, due to asphyxiation. Um, so basically, they just suffocated. Uh, which is also interesting for the story here. Alright, so that's about all we can get out of uh, this part. So we're just going to go ahead and continue. Uh, now, typically for uh, Fallout, I'm the mad explorer and just look for everything. Uh, I'm going to try to limit that um, for uh, for your viewing pleasure. We'll see how that goes. All right, so this is where I need to go, but inaccessible. So we need to find a way around. And this is where we first see our rad roaches, yeah. which they did pretty well in the trailer. Uh, so uh, I think, yeah, definitely. I have no problem whatsoever with the way that that uh, TV show appears to look. It looks really, really good. Oh, oh, definitely going to need that at least early on. Uh, I don't really need much else of anything else. Um, I'm not going to do a whole whole lot of the uh, the building uh, in this uh, playthrough. Um, I think that's that would deserve its own little thing. So, Vault 111 security instructions, confidential. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended anim animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are re responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science st staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or in interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Yeah, so uh, based on this, uh, they basically have just um, done an experiment on you, which is uh, vault uh MO. Uh, so, without you knowing about it, resident admittance, uh, upon activation notice from Vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with the admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Yeah, so essentially they gathered a bunch of people, and then whoever was um, uh, fit for this, uh, when the time came, uh, they just kind of picked and choose. If you notice, the uh, guy at the fence was uh, eyeing us down. Basically, he was like, okay, male... Uh, female, baby, cool. Okay, you you can go. Uh, and he was basically making the, the decision on who gets to come in um, at the gate uh, based on who they were able to get. Uh, and then uh, essentially just killed everybody else, uh, even the ones that were uh, inside uh, that didn't get into a pod. Uh, okay, so all clear message. So following a nuclear event, Voltec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasions, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, Vault Tech personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. 
discard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault -Tec, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. vault -Tec will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. Alright. Not too uncommon for the vaults. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of the all-clear message from Vault Tech, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during the shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. So they were uh, supposed to have a 180 days of containment and then... Uh, probably assess the state of the the world on the outside and then uh, open up uh, but clearly something has gone wrong all right we'll go with the security logs these go from October 23 20, 2077 uh, and then down to the last entry so we'll just go ahead and start from the first one here so god it finally happened the world's over barely got all the residents inside not everyone made it now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Yeah, so there we're going against their moral judgments, I guess. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that I got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher-ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. Seems like the uh, higher ups were not mingling with the rest of the staff there. Only a few weeks left in the mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying that all clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months, it's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. So with this, it's possible that there were two uh, experiments going on here. Uh, one with the staff and then one with the icebergs. The main door assessing the vault exit is malfunction. Now only the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. So it looks like they're building up to a mutiny of some sort. So let's check out this last entry. No all clear from vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered your Stanley from dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Yeah, so they definitely mutinied. Um... Interesting. Okay. Load hollow tape. Let's see what that does. Uh, nope. Okay. Don't have any. Yeah, I just love the artwork. So it's it's like when we get on the outside, you'll see it's like this is all definitely from another time, uh, and that's that's what's really cool about uh, these Fallout games is you start in this seemingly like everything is awesome kind of uh,
time and then you get thrown into the complete opposite of that where everything is definitely not fine um, very very uh, good juxtaposition here um, Okay, so now I get to fight some rad Roshids. Okay. Giant roaches? What the hell? Alright, I need to go that way, but I'm gonna check in here first. I think everything's been looted in this in this place, so yeah. I'm not gonna find much. Let's go ahead and go around. There's another one of those. Cleanliness is next to gladness. Oh, oh, let's see here. Yeah, everything's been looted. All right, let's check out this. See if there's anything new. Overseer memo. Okay. Remember, use use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Definitely a corporation. Top ten. Uh, so this might be because there is a game called Red Menace in here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you what this looks like. So if I remember correctly, it's like Donkey Kong or something. It's kind of yeah. Yeah. So the game is uh, full of things like like this, where it's just like. Uh, takes you out of the the game experience but it's such a big game that uh, things like this is um, kind of expected for like an open world kind of situation so we're gonna get out of that uh, yes uh, but I'm gonna take that with me uh, that way I have it on my pit boy when I get that later okay so let's check it out let's, let's go the way that we're supposed to Okay, so if you watch here, yep, it got a red roach. Uh, so I definitely don't want to go that direction. Um, so I'm going to go around, for which I'm going to have to fight another rad roach. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so you can block, but let's see. Here we go. <clears throat> like that. Um, but I've got it set on pretty easy mode. Uh, Alright, so this is a... What one of those here? people. Where is everyone? At this point, the main character has no idea what's happened because uh, he's been frozen. And I'll try to stop, stop sharing the obvious um, and just commentate normally. All right, here we go. All right, definitely gonna need these stim cacks, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab all those. Uh, all right, let's check this guy. I don't think he has anything. Is this all that's left? That was interesting. Yeah, so the game has all these like glitches, and sometimes like that, they just add a very interesting feel to the game. Uh, other times they're just wacky and out of control. Um, so, here we go. Oh, shit. Uh, let's get our first official weapon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab these eyeglasses. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I need that. All right. Uh, I'm going to look around a little bit, and then I'll check out that uh, computer. Okay, yeah, let's take that. I don't think there's anything in these. Nope. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and check this out. Overseer instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation of, on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on a short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by vault tech technicians. Under no circumstances, suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. 
your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely or capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Yeah, so they're pretty harsh uh, in these vaults. So the overseer uh, has some pretty gruesome instructions for all of the vaults. This one in particular uh, is uh, very interesting. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components. I need to tinker with the pro prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Uh, so someone's uh, working on it as... So I guess the, the inventor, maybe, is uh, in the vault, which is cool. Or maybe cool, I don't know. Upon activation notice from Vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each of the de designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detain forcibly, forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Yeah, so they uh, got everybody in the uh, containers and just offed everybody else. Not unlike Vault Tech for any of the other vaults. Members of the research team must daily, daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary pulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to, no to overseer discretion. Yeah, that overseer is going to do what overseers do. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by vault Tech. Yeah, so they uh, typically have um, communication with some form of outside vault Tech facility with these. Um, so who knows what that actually meant uh, due to the nature of Vault 111. Personnel with, will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to the overseer discretion. Uh, I would assume that if he doesn't like you, you will be doing those things. All right, all clear in evacuation. Let's see if they actually got one. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation. Okay, so this is the same messages before it's not the actual all clear uh, I believe this is also yep so this is the same message as before all right so that's it for that let's get into the overseer's log the final staff orientation is complete all but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled and several from Concord as well vault -Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me this vault is ready to open I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join join them and see the promise of our future realized. Hmm. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came though came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Norgagen was missing when he sealed the entrance. Resident admittance was admittance was went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Ah, uh, yeah. So they definitely knew this was going to happen. Going to going to happen. Uh, so there is a theory. I'm not sure if it's it's true lore, but uh, that Vault Tech instigated the actual bomb. Uh, bombings, the war. Strange issues today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. Realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. 
Crouch and Gray almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in Vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an, er an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the stack. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much longer than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive explosion would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all-clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. Can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. So it kind of puts him in a bad spot there. Because um, he's right. Uh, it, there definitely was a blast and that the radiation would most certainly still be there. Faction led by the security personnel have turned on me demanding that they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Yeah, so he's making some pretty harsh decisions here. I don't necessarily agree with all of them. Because um, at a certain point, it's uh, starved to death or go see if you can survive the radiation so yeah uh, but killing off people for that uh, that's a bit of a moral judgment call there all right so I'm gonna open up the evacuation tunnel so I can get out of here personal evacuation tunnel is now open remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing vault 111 please maintain all staff records and research Report to your local vault tech superiors for debriefing and further instruction. Yeah, so they were under the assumption that they would still have a functionality and uh, be able to meet everyone afterwards, but uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. Alright, oh, oh, there's a lot. worry too much about uh, wasting ammo or uh, uh, getting hurt too too much because I've got it on pretty easy. All right, here we go. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Oh god. So this is where I came from. So this is a beginning part here. Uh, so it's basically just a you know circular path here. Uh, that's where I need to go. I need to get out this door. Uh, whoop. I need that XP. It's early on. <laughs> oh, I thought I killed it. <laughs> Jesus. This is super rad, Roach. Okay. Alright, so, uh, if I try this, nothing happens, so I need that right there. And that gives us our Pip-Boy. Way smaller than the uh, the one from the intro because this is the next generation. I love how this turns on. Okay. 
Okay, so there it is. Uh, so we have, have everything that we need. It tells you what to do. You know, how are you doing? Your special perks that we talked about earlier. Uh, you can see this is what I chose. Uh, and then if we go over there, now we can get into our inventory, uh, which I'm not going to put it, that on because I want that John Bernthal look. Uh, that's already set to a special. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so uh, data, the map, uh, that's going to get filled up as I continue through the game. Uh, and then the radio. Uh, so I'm going to be able to get radio signals, uh, but to avoid the copyright issues with the songs, uh, unfortunately, we're going to be playing this with the music that you currently hear. Uh, so we're not going to have that juxtaposition of the uh, the songs. Oh, yeah, I need to go back for yours, sorry. Uh, but we'll still get a pretty good feel of what the game is. Okay. Uh, also, this is going to end our, uh, once I open this door, end our first part of uh, the long journey of Fallout 4. Uh, so, here we go. This will be episode one. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Get through this door here. Okay, so at this point we can change uh, some of those things before we start the official game, uh, but we're going to go ahead and finish off and uh, start the start the game officially. So thank you for watching, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, if you want to see more of the journey of Fallout 4, then go ahead and click that uh, screen on the left, top left there, and uh, you get to episode 2. So thank you very much. Get tubed.